When doing transmission work, there's all sorts of different parts involved depending on what the repair is. And sometimes you might need to identify certain parts and make sure you're replacing with the correct parts. So a 17.2 software Snap-on added a function for Ford transmissions that's going to allow you to check the band number on the transmission solenoid. So let's talk about that. So I have shop key information up here that tells us all about what these solenoid band numbers are. So it says, the solenoids are calibrated from the factory and are not all the same. There are two types of solenoids, normally high and normally low. The solenoids can be replaced separately, but only with the same type of solenoid. The replacement solenoid band number must match the band number of the solenoid being replaced. The band number is printed on the side of the solenoid and will be a 2, 3, 4, or 5. So knowing all that, we can then go into our scanner and go into the transmission, and then is under functional tests. And then there's a listing right here that says transmission characterization and solenoid identification. So we'll click on that. So make sure the ignition's on. We got that. Okay, so we can do transmission characterization and the solenoid band. So let's go to the solenoid bands because that's actually going to have us do both. Now it says this function is used to obtain the transmission solenoid band information for ordering individual replacement solenoids. Refer to the vehicle workshop manual for further system details and this function is now supported for all transmissions. So we'll continue. So it's a 6R140 transmission. And is this transmission correct? Yep, that's the one that's in there. So it's going to go through and it's going to do a couple little queries. And uh, this function will provide transmission solenoid band information for individual solenoid replacement. The solenoid body strategy or identification will be required to obtain the solenoid bands. So in order to replace the part with the right part and order the right part, so this function can be obtained from the module or the transmission service tag, right? So maybe the service tag is missing or, or the numbers are worn off or something like that. So it's going to prevent you from having to tear any of the transmission apart if you don't have to. Uh, so here's the current strategy, current identification, hit continue, and then it's going to list all my bands. So see shift solenoid A there, it's normally low, and then element band 4, and then normally high band 4, etc and it lists them all out, all the different solenoids. So it's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of effort being able to identify these solenoids electronically through the scan tool versus having to take the transmission apart.